everyone. Today's recipe, we are making creamy lemon coconut chicken breast served over zoodles. Now this has a wonderful creamy sauce you're gonna love made with coconut and lemon and a few other things. And I tell you, the sauce is just always pretty much what makes it, right? This is delicious. So I'm Rockin' Robin and I'm gonna show you how to make it right after this. So we're gonna start off our recipe by prepping up our zoodles, right? That's what we said we were gonna serve our chicken over. Now you could also do white rice if you want to, but like I said, today we're gonna to do low carb and we're gonna do the zucchini. So I got my zucchini here, a nice big one. And I also have my uh, zoodle machine, okay? These things work great. And uh, I'll just show you real quick. So we just cut off the ends of the zucchini to get them straight so that they fit on the machines well. So there's a little, little knob here where we just place that in and we push the little tongs into the zucchini. We crank it and out come zoodles. It's that simple. So the next thing we need to do is prep up our chicken breast. We need to cut it thinner. I'm gonna butterfly it so that it cooks up quick. We wanna cook this meal up nice and quick and that'll take care of that by cutting this in a thinner slice. So it's a nice big thick one here. I like to get my chicken pieces down to about a half an inch to three quarters of an inch thick. So do the best you can. So we'll just slice this through. And if you need to, you can always get a meat pounder like I have here and you just pound out one of the pieces. Like I'm gonna pound out this uh, really thick one here just a little bit so it's a little more thinner than it is. And now we'll season up the chicken both sides with just a little bit of salt, just very simple, salt and pepper. Now I'm ready to start searing up the chicken. Now I have a stainless steel pan here over medium high heat. We wanna get this pan up nice and hot before we put our chicken in it. Now it's really important what kind of pan you're gonna use. In my view, I'm using stainless steel because uh, actually the chicken when I sear it is going to leave some brown bits on the bottom of the pan and that means flavor. Now if you don't have a stainless steel, my second choice would be a cast iron and then my third choice is non-stick, right? If you have a non-stick and that's all you have, that's what you use. So I'm gonna place a couple of tablespoons of coconut oil into the pan and we're gonna let that get hot. All right, I think our oil is hot. You can see the kind of waviness in the oil. That'll kind of tell you that it's, it's getting hot and certainly if it starts to smoke, that's a clue. So you wanna place your chicken right in there and don't touch it. Let it sit, don't move it, don't turn it. It's been a couple of minutes now. You can see that this piece over here is getting white, whiter. You see how it's traveled up and it's gonna get done pretty quick. This one on the other hand has a ways to go because it was a thicker piece. So I'm gonna turn this one over first. When the pieces get done, the small, the thinner pieces are gonna get done first, so I'm gonna place them right here on my plate and keep them warm, and the others can cook a little longer. This one here looks like it's ready to be turned over. Now you can always check your temperature with an instant read thermometer like I have here. It is difficult when you have a thinner piece, but we're looking for 165 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm gonna pull it off now. Like I said, we'll just place it right back here. And I'm just gonna lay a piece of foil over it just to kind of keep the heat in. All right, all the chicken is done. Now we're gonna turn the temperature down just a smidgen and I'm gonna add the onions. Now before I do that, notice all the brown stuff down here. You see that? Very important, good stuff. Lots of flavor there. You want that. It'll still taste good if you use a nonstick pan, you don't get it, but this takes it to the next level. Toss in some diced onion. You can use red or yellow. I just happen to have yellow, so that's what I'm using. And you wanna scrape up those brown bits. Now, if you don't have enough oil in the pan, add a little bit more coconut oil to this, but it seems like there's enough here. 
I'm on medium temperature. Uh, I'm going to add just a just a little touch of salt to this, just a little layer of that, and we're going to let these saute for about you know no more than five minutes. Now while our onions are cooking, we have time for a chef joke. All right, here we go. Why did the chef have to stop cooking? He ran out of time. All right, it's time to add our chicken broth here. I'm using organic chicken broth. Got mine from Trader Joe's, by the way. Got my temperature on medium, and I'm gonna really scrape the bottom because I wanna get those bits off the bottom. Here I've got my uh, cup of full-fat coconut milk. I'm gonna pour that in. And I've got some garlic powder here, and I'm gonna sprinkle that in. So I'm gonna put a little bit of ground turmeric in here. I've got an organic lemon, and I'm going to put the zest of a lemon in here as well. This will give it a nice lemony flavor. So now I'm gonna juice the whole lemon into this. It's probably close to two tablespoons, I would say, depending on how big your lemon is. Give that a nice stir. Now you can see at this point that this sauce is rather thin, right? It's pretty watery, so we need to thicken it up. So what I like to use is some arrowroot, which is like cornstarch, but it's uh, non-GMO. So here's my arrowroot, and to that I'm gonna add just a splash of uh, chicken broth to that, just to you know get it liquidy. So just pour that in, stir it up, make a little slurry, and then we'll add that to our, our sauce. Now before I add that to the sauce though, I'm gonna add some parsley to this. Parsley and basil are going in today. If you like cilantro, that's another option. Here goes the basil. Always use fresh, guys, with this recipe because it's just so much better. I can't even tell you, it's just way better. I got that in there. I'm gonna turn the heat up just a little bit to get this to simmer a little bit more, and then we'll add the, the slurry of arrowroot and chicken broth. So I'm gonna add a little salt to the sauce here before I add the slurry. All right, it's time to add our slurry. It is time to add the chicken back to the pan. Just get it in that sauce, and we'll just let it sit here and simmer for a little bit while we cook up our zoodles. All right, let's cook our zoodles. I got a nice big pan here uh, over medium high heat, and I'm gonna add olive oil to these. Just something a little different, not too much. Maybe, maybe a tablespoon, maybe? Maybe two teaspoons. I'll toss in the zoodles, and these will just cook up in just like five minutes. I'm gonna add just a sprinkle of salt to that. All right, these zoodles are done for me. Just, like I said, it wasn't even five minutes. I think it was about four minutes. Anyway, those are good enough for me. I just want them softened a bit, and we're ready to serve it up. I'm going to sprinkle just a little bit of lemon juice on the zucchini, whatever it was left in those lemons that I used. Just a hint of that. It'll just complement the flavor of the chicken. Okay, it's time to serve it up. I'm going to put a little bit of my zoodles on the plate. And let's grab some chicken. Let's see, let's grab this one here. Look at this. Okay, zoodles are like pasta and you gotta twirl them. That sauce really makes it, it is just so flavorful, you're gonna love it. I can taste the coconut, the lemon comes through, not overpowering. I think the coconut balances with its sweetness, balances out the lemon, the basil, all the spices. It's creamy, it's just, it's delicious guys. So you really gotta try this, you're gonna love it. 
If you're looking for another delicious chicken easy recipe to make, I've got one for you that you really should try out. I'll leave a link for you right here. This is my chicken one sheet pan recipe that has vegetables in it. Everything goes in one sheet in the oven and it's done and it's just delicious and easy and quick and easy cleanup too. So check that out. All right, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and of course leave me a comment. I wanna hear from you if you have any questions or comments and we'll see you next week for another delicious recipe.